right, we're gonna be doing an install of the Alien Sunshade front for the Jeep Gladiator. You'll notice once you unpack your box, you have the actual sunshade right here. You wanna make sure that the Alien logo is actually gonna be in the rear. Once you unpack your box, we have the two 10-inch T-bar bungees for the front of the sunshade. We have the two 13-inch T-bar bungees for the front corner of the sunshade. The two longest bungees here, the 15-inch, are gonna be for the center rear. The two 10-inch bungees are gonna be for the rear corners, and the four 8-inch bungees are gonna be for the sides. We also have a strap here that we'll show you how to use in just a second that's gonna help you install the front of the sunshade. Now just to get a visual, you wanna make sure once you unpack the sunshade, the actual logo is gonna be in the back of your Jeep. The, the two longest bungees that you have are gonna be the rear center. The 15 inch bungees are gonna be in the rear center in these two holes right here. The uh, two uh, 10 inch bungees are gonna be the rear corners, so the two corners on each side right here. The 10 inch T-bar bungees are gonna be for the front center right here. The 13 inch T-bar bungees are gonna be for the front corners on each side right there. And the four eight inch bungees right here are gonna be on the sides. Okay, now we're gonna install the sunshade. You wanna have your logo facing uh, the back. And uh, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna find the center hole uh, we're gonna slide the, uh, the 13 inch bungees, so not the longest T-bar ones, but the second longest ones with the T-bar on the bottom. Once you slide this through, you just wanna take your strap, uh, get it right through the middle. That's gonna help you grab the bungee through on the other side. You wanna slide it through kind of right over the, the strap uh, for the visor and kind of right over the top you'll notice the, the actual bungee cord or the tool cord comes through on the other side. You grab it and that allows you to grab the bungee. From there, you just you know, grab the bungee, wrap it around the T-bar the, the and you'll be all set. Don't worry too much about the placement. Uh, at that point, you can actually adjust it and, and move the, the actual setup at that point. Um, once that's complete, we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Okay, once we're done with the other side, we're going to move to the left corner. You wanna grab your longest T-bar bungee that you have. Again, you wanna slide it through with the T-bar on the bottom. Uh, now, once it's through, you wanna use your installation tool to start wrap it around. And you wanna slide this through right above the windshield in the corner there on a 45 degree angle. Give it a good push and you'll see the, the tool will pop through on the other side. That will allow you to grab the bungee. And now you're just gonna wrap the bungee around the T-bar, similar to how we did in the center. And you'll notice again, the first time you install these bungees, they're a little tight. They're built for durability and to last. Uh, but as you, as you have this on more and more and you install it uh, on and off, it'll become easier. Once that's all secured, you repeat the same thing for the other side. Okay, once the front and front corners are installed, you're gonna move to the rear center. We're gonna grab the longest uh, bungee, the, the 15 inch bungees. Again, we're going to slide the bungees with the ball on the bottom. Once it's through, you're just going to reach around the back side, grab it here on the back side. You'll notice these bungees are, are pretty tight at first. The more you use them, the more flexible they'll be. They're built for durability. You just got to reach across and snap it over the ball and you're all set there. Once the, the uh, rear center is installed, you're going to do the same process for the other side. Okay, once the rear bungees are installed, we're gonna to move to the side bungees. You wanna grab the smallest bungee you have, the eight inch bungees. Again, we're gonna put it through with the bungee ball on the bottom. What I like doing is grabbing it and wrapping it around and just grabbing the ball right here and kind of meeting it in the middle. Once it's secured, I like to actually move the bungee so it's not hitting the door on the inside and slide it in the inside and you're all set. We're gonna repeat that process for this a hole here, and then the other two on the other side as well. Okay, once the rear center bungees have been installed, we're gonna move to the corners. You wanna grab your 13 inch uh, bungees. Again, slide it through with a ball on the bottom. So when you're, when you're pulling this across, you wanna make sure you get a really nice big stretch. There's a few different ways you could do this. I like actually grabbing the bungee ball and meeting it halfway down here. Once you're there, 
try to get it through and you're in. It's best to usually adjust the bungee and kind of move it down a little bit just so this is not necessarily right there and you can slide it down to where you want to place it. Once that's secure, you want to do the same thing for the other side. Okay, once the last uh, corner bungee has been installed, you then just want to kind of stretch it out, make sure it's even, make sure everything's aligned, and then you're all set. You can enjoy your front alien sunshade.